Hello guys, welcome back. It's my first video back filming since we went on a little vacation. We went to Florida for a few days and I'm out running a few errands and I figured I would just take my camera and film a shopping video. I need to run to the big box store anyway because I need more sphagnum moss. I used pretty much all that I had for all of my pole extensions that I just did and I'm looking for six inch pot ceramic to hold I think I need four to hold my heavier moss poles. So I'm going to look in Lowe's. I just pulled up here and then I'm going to show you the plants in here. And if I can't find anything, there is a Hobby Lobby in the shopping center and one of you guys told me to check Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to run in there if I don't find any pots and see if I can find something that I'm looking for. And there's also a Home Depot. So I'm going to run in there and look at the plants with you guys here and show you what they have. I haven't been in a big box store in since my last shopping video, so it's been probably at least three, four weeks, but I'm just gonna go to these two just because it's here and it's kinda in the area that I need to be in anyway. So I'm excited to see what they have. I don't plan on buying any plants. I'm just looking for moss and ceramic pots. I parked in the shade and there's like a tree branch hanging right over my window, so I hope it's not giving too much of a weird glare. I am the person that will find shade in the parking lot because it's really hot and sunny. So if there is a parking spot available in the shade, even if it's really far from the store, I will park in the shade so my car doesn't get too hot. So I'm gonna head in here and show you guys the plants in here. Hopefully we find some good stuff and I'm excited. So let's head in and do some plant shopping. We are starting our shopping trip in Lowe's and I'm outside here and I saw a section of plants against the window. I was immediately drawn to this gorgeous Calathea. It was just so full and fluffy. I just thought it was so beautiful. It was very tempting. I didn't have this one, <sighs> but it, yeah, I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> I always get attracted to the Calatheas. They had some aglionemas here outside, some golden pothos, and some ferns. They had a couple Baltic blues here. I don't know how I'm feeling about the Baltic blue anymore. Some money trees, and they had another one of these aglionemas. I saw these here last time. They kind of remind me of the philodendron rios with the color of the leaves. I think they're really pretty. They had some pretty healthy looking Monstera Perus as well. They were so pretty. And some Syndapsis uh, Trubii Moonlights. And around the back here, they had this Caladium. I love Caladiums. I don't know about you guys, but I just think they're so pretty. They remind me of Alocasia. And I only grow them outside like during the summer months and they go dormant. But I just love them. I was tempted to get this one. I think it was only like $7 maybe. It wasn't that expensive. I just thought the white, the pop of white was so pretty. I spotted this huge begonia around the back. Look at the size of those leaves. I was blown away. The thing was massive. It was only $14.98. I thought that was such a good deal for just the overall size of this begonia. Whoever finds this, I hope you love begonias and I hope that you are just so happy because if I love begonias, I know this plant would have made me so happy to find. Such a good deal. I hope that makes someone so happy. They had this section kind of towards the entrance outside. It had just some palm trees and some various plants. There was a huge alocasia, California. I spotted these Stromanthi trio stars. So pretty. They were only $12.99, I believe. Yes, such a good deal. $13, and they were a pretty good size. I would love to get another one. <laughs> they had this cart of clearance, mostly just some succulent arrangements that got a little sad. They had a lot with some flapjacks. I was trying to see if I could find a markdown price. Uh, I imagine they were probably like 50% off. And these huge fiddly fig trees outside in full sun. They just look so happy. They were 120 though. They had some more alocasia here that were 
One of them was marked down on clearance. This one here it had like a line through it. So I imagine it was probably 50% off. It looked like two different types. I think that was a black magic and then just, uh, just a regular green elephant here. I was tempted. <laughs> they had some succulents here. Nothing really new succulent wise. I didn't really see too much. This golden pothos caught my eye with that yellow. It was so pretty. Yeah, just some various arrangements. Still keeping my eye out for a string of dolphins. <laughs> I think a lot of this stuff was here last time. I remember these terracotta pots were here last time. That was pretty much it for outside. And moving along the inside, I didn't know where to look. <laughs> there was just so much stuff to look at here. I was trying to scan just to see if I spotted anything new, like new plants right away. On the bottom here, a lot of the same kind of ZZ plants, Aglionema, uh, Diffenbachias, you name it. I spotted this Birkin. These leaves were pretty. And this Calathea. I love Calatheas. Every time I see this one, I'm always tempted because I don't have this one. And over here we had orchids, lots and lots of orchids, more calatheas, so pretty. And they had some burgundy rubber trees. These guys, I believe, were $22.98. Not too bad. And I spotted these silver dragon alocasias. That one had a spot of variegation right there. I'm always on the lookout to find like a sport variegated anything while I'm here. I always like have it in the back of my mind. And then just some other various plants. They had some begonia, maculata, raven's easies, monstera peru, syndapsis, you name it. <laughs> they had some raphidophora hayes as well. And up top, here's another look at the beautiful maranta, the red maranta. I was looking at the pot as well. I believe this was $26.98, so not bad. I love the pots here sometimes. Sometimes I just want to get the plant because of the pot. Does anyone else do that? This one here was $16.98 for a neon pothos. I like that pot as well, and I really like these pots. I thought those were so cute. Adorable. And here's another red maranta, of course. They had some Hoya Crimson Princesses here. These were, I believe, $16.98. I thought these small pots used to be $14.98. Maybe they increased in price. This was a Maria Syngonium for $15.98, I believe. And I spotted this Enjoy Pearls and Jade mix plant, I guess, <laughs> for $16.98. And along this side, a lot of the smaller, like cheaper plants that were five, six, seven dollars. I was impressed by some of these syngoniums. They were pretty full. This one was seven ninety eight though, so eight dollars. That one was a little bit more expensive. But they had a few of those. And they had these little tidy Tradescantia here for only I think they were five forty eight for a little baby starter plant. More syngonium here. And they had this adorable Pilea. I didn't see a price on it though. Still no variegated Maranta. <laughs> I always scour just to see if I can find them. Along the backside here, you guys, they had some good stuff. I was already filling my car up. I had to let my camera cool down and I was just like browsing to see what was here. I spotted some different alocasia that I was tempted. I believe this one had the pink stem, so I think it was an Ivory, Ivory Coast. I didn't have this one and I was tempted, but since I've had so much alocasia trouble recently with fungal issues, I didn't, I didn't want to get it. And they had this one too, and I was so tempted. This one is the regular dragon scale. The leaves were so pretty, and it was only $12.98, you guys, $12. It was like 13 bucks to get this. I just thought it was such a good deal. But I figured I would let someone else find it. They had uh, Amazonica here as well, Polly. And they had some various other new plants. 
So this one is a zebra plant, and I have not seen the whitish looking one. I don't know the exact name, but I was just blown away by how pretty the color was. And it, again, it was only $12.98, and you get this adorable pot that it comes in. And I also spotted this bathophyllum, this peace lily. I don't know the exact kind. I forget. <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up. But again, only $13, and it just spoke to me. I don't know. I was just putting it in my cart just to just leave them there and think about it. I didn't want them to disappear. You know, I was tempted to get them. And what else was here? We had more Calathea. Here was another one of those zebra plants. Some little ficus, little money trees. And I spotted a variegated Peperomia obtrusifolia. I think the variegation on these ones are so pretty. And this huge Marble Queen, this thing was gorgeous. The color on this one was so pretty. It was a little bit expensive, I guess, because of the pot. It was $22.98. I believe, yeah. So you could definitely find Marble Queen for a lot cheaper. So some ficus on the bottom. Beautiful burgundy. I think that was uh, $26.98 maybe. And then they had some of these plants in these cute little face pots. Here's another variegated peperomia. And what else? Some money trees, aglionemas, lots and lots of orchids, bromeliads, a little baby syngonium in that one, lots of dracaenas, and hanging up. I didn't really see too much hanging up. We had some spider plants, some ferns. Couple Syngonium, nothing really new up top here. And on this little end cap, I spotted some more Calatheas. These baskets were so cute. They were $25.98. They had several of those. A Bromeliad with a Syngonium here. And I spotted another Pilea. This pot caught my eye. I believe this one was $26.98. I thought that pot was so cute. And they had several more, um, a lot of bird's nest ferns here on the end. Lots of little air plants and succulents, little money trees. And then I kind of wanted to see what was down this way on this end cap. I think we had a clearance section here. Some dracaenas, succulents. I saw a little burgundy rubber tree down there on the bottom. Nothing really caught my eye that I really wanted to rescue here. Behind me, there was some Monstera Deliciosas, little baby juvenile ones, more orchids, some more Calathea, and some tiny little Dracaenas there on the bottom. I spotted this beautiful ficus. It was so pretty. I think it was $26.98. It was in another one of those pots that I liked, except it was a little bit bigger. Not too bad, it looked really healthy if, you're, if you were looking for one. Along the back side here, nothing really too new hanging up. Some more Enjoy Pearls and Jade, some Cocoa Damas. There was a Neon Hartley Philodendron. I like these pots too, I wish they were all white with that speckling, it was really pretty. These guys were $16.98. And then I wasn't sure what this was, maybe some kind of Ripsalis. It was, I think, $13.98. And just some larger plants here, some ZZs, and here's another look at the back side of this section. Inside, they had a tiny little cart. They had some remaining uh, lemon meringue pothos. They had these here last time. A couple of those, Synapsis Trubii Moonlights, they had a ton of those. I saw a little staghorn fern, neon pothos, and uh, this pot caught my eye. It's not really picking up on camera, but it was like a beautiful lavender purple color. It was so beautiful. I didn't know what the plant was in here either. Uh, 
I was trying to see if there was a name, but I have no idea what this is. But the pot was so pretty. And this pot was really cute too. Adorable. And up top I spotted a synapsis. Uh, I believe it looked like maybe a silvery and just because the tips were a little bit silver. And this pot I believe was $16.98. Walking inside, I saw this cart and I immediately was drawn to these beautiful peacock calatheas, these calathea maquianas. Uh, this is one of my favorite calatheas. I have one and it is big and it is beautiful and I love her. So seeing these here just filled my heart with so much joy. <sighs> I don't know. I hope someone buys them and takes really good care of them. Calathea just have a special place in my heart. I don't know. I just love them. And they looked so happy. They had some global greens here as well. Lots of golden pothos. And they had two different kinds of peperomias. They had one that was more silvery and one that was more red looking up top. Those guys were $19.98. Some various little succulents here. They had this cute little domino cactus. I, every time I see them, I just think they're so cute. I love mine. Mine is outside. And they had a tiny little bit of succulents behind me. And then I spotted this cart with these golden violins. I saw these here last time. And I don't know. <laughs> I know the coloring comes in like lighter and then it gets darker. But I don't know. It just had some weird yellowing. They didn't look the happiest to me. They still had a lot here. I saw these here last time. They were $19.98 from Costa. So I was surprised to still see them here. And they had some more um, global green and some lemon meringue mixed together. And around the backside, I immediately spotted these pink princesses. I was surprised to see these here too. They looked a little wilty to me. I think they were probably sitting a little too wet. They looked sad to me. The color was okay on some of them. Um, this one here on the uh, end that I'll show you here in a second is... It looked a lot happier. It looked more perky right here. It looked a little bit healthier. So I would probably grab this one just because it didn't look as sad and it did have some good color on it. The leaves were huge too. And I spotted a couple Birkin here and one of them in the back caught my eye because it looked um, all green. If you didn't know, the, the Birkins are a mutation from the Rojo Congo, so they can revert back to them, which is what this one did, which is kind of cool. You could see a little bit of the Birkin colored leaves, and then the new growth is completely reverted. So I think that was so cool. And these guys were only $14.98. And then I spotted another one when I put that guy back. This one here had some reverted strands as well. And these leaves were huge, you guys, so big. I just think it's so cool when they do that weird mutation thing. They had some more little succulents over here. Just some more of the same. On this side, we had some money trees and we had some little arrangements there on the bottom. I think those were 25. And some of the smaller plants, I was kind of scanning over looking for Maranta, of course. I spotted these little Enjoy Pearls and Jade. They were only, I think, $5.48, so not bad. And on the bottom, here's some more Syngonium. Nothing really too exciting. We had some more Costa plants over here. Lots of Monstera Peru, Birkins, Syndapsis. And then I spotted a couple more Pink Princesses, and this one was actually the White Knight. It looked kind of all green mostly on that one. The leaves were so big though. I'm impressed with the size of some of these ones at the big box store. And then there was another one here on the end, another white knight. Those two leaves were pretty on it. So cute. <laughs> and what else was here? Some more Birkins. We had some chameleon zizis. That color was so pretty. And moving into the bigger plants, we have some large peace lilies. I saw this pretty monstera on the end. I'm still always hunting for a sport one. And I saw this huge basket of caladium. I was just 
it was just so pretty. I think this one may have been a Candyland. It wasn't labeled, and it was only $16.99 for this huge basket. I have one at home that, look like, that looks like this one. It's called Candyland, so it kind of resembles that. That's Luna if you hear her meowing. <laughs> and we have some burgundy rubber trees, aglionemas, fiddles. And then look at this huge Winty eye. I was blown away at how huge this alocasia was. Like, that's my hand. So crazy. They had so many of them. These guys are $24.98, so not too bad. I totally would have got one if it wasn't so late in the season. I would have planted it outside. Lots of Monsteras for $26.98. They had a couple Birds of Paradise. And behind me on this side... Lots of snake plants and tons more peace lilies. Nothing really too new hanging up. More of this, just the same, same plants. And then around the corner, I spotted some Maranta, which I'll show you because I had to go look at them. They were just so cute hanging there. I hope someone buys them and takes really good care of them because they're just so beautiful. I love Maranta. Towards the back, I spotted this car and it still had the wrapping on it, so I figured they must have just put this here. It was doesn't it didn't look like anything was purchased off of here. So I got so lucky to find this. I was just scanning, trying to see what they had. They had this beautiful Tenanthe Never Never plant. I have this one. They had lots of Stromanthe, little tiny Tradescantia, Monstera Peru. Ficus, and then I spotted an Orbifolia. I was just saying the other day when I repotted my Orbifolia that if I ever came across one, I would be tempted to buy it just because mine got so sad. And they looked so happy, you guys. Look at those curling leaves. So full, so happy. Ugh. It was $30 though, because it came in a basket. I didn't see this other one here yet. And then I spotted this Ficus Benjamina. I'm always tempted when I see these two. They're so pretty. And again, so full and happy looking. And then I spotted this other Orbifolia, which I didn't see yet, that it was variegated. And I was like, what is going on with this plant? Is this variegated? Is it sick? What is going on? And I just kept looking. It was literally on pretty much every leaf. And I'm like, I didn't know what was going on with it. And I think I just got really lucky to find a variegated Calathea orbifolia. It was literally, it was so beautiful. So again, I just kind of was looking all over here. I'm like, oh, there's one more Calathea. Is it variegated? It had flowered at one point. So obviously it was happy. They just looked so happy. I don't know, <laughs> I was trying to see what else was here. I didn't really see too much else. I spotted this huge uh, alocasia. This is the long labata and so big. These leaves were huge. I didn't have this one either, but yeah, it was a little bit too big for me. And then um, they also had, I was looking at the ficus and more Calathea. And this collar was pretty on that one. That's pretty much all they had. I just was like still in awe about finding an Orbifolia <laughs> that had variegation. Oh, they had this little fern thing too. I'm not sure what that was. They had a couple of those. I thought it looks like curly kale or something, curly lettuce. So cool. And yeah, that was pretty much all they had. Now I just had to decide what to do with the Calathea. I forgot to hit record and I literally did this entire haul and I'm like, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> it has been a day. I had to cut the Home Depot short because my flip flop broke. It was just a pair of like cheap sandals like less than ten dollars i've had them for a while like three years and they broke while i was in home depot and i'm like shoot what am i gonna do and i found a hair tie in my bag thank goodness and i wrapped it around my entire foot with the flip-flop underneath and i was able to walk out of the store i felt so embarrassed i've never had that happen before 
And I had some other errands to run after, and so I stopped in Target and bought a new pair of flip-flops. That was fun. <laughs> but let me show you the haul. And I did make a stop in Hobby Lobby because I was looking for some six inch heavy ceramics for my moss poles that I extended. And one of you guys said to check Hobby Lobby. I just can't find anything at Lowe's or Home Depot. And I tried to look on Amazon, but it was just hard to find something that I think would work. So I found these at Hobby Lobby. It's really bright and sunny right now. I'll try to hold it back. It's just a, it's a little less than six inches. It's 5.67, so I'm hoping it fits them. I have a feeling it might be a little too small, but I think it will fit the Repop Me one because they're a little more slender, but I'm gonna test it out. They only had two in stock. It doesn't have a drain hole or anything. It's just a ceramic and they were 50% off. So they're originally 18 and so I got them for what, $9 each. So that's not bad. I wish they had more, I would have gotten more. So the two is all that I could find in there. Cause I wanted something white. I didn't want anything like off color. And I did get some plants. So I was looking at the Orbifolia before my flip flop broke. Cause I just got so excited. And I just, I just don't know what to think. I think it's variegated. I really do. Cause this stuff is on every single leaf, the variegation. At least it looks like variegation to me because I don't know what else it could be. It's really um, sunny, so I, oh, here comes the shade, I think. I don't know if it's even making out that well, but it's literally on every leaf. I'll have to take some pictures and maybe put it on here when I get home in some different light that you can see what I'm talking about. So because it was in a basket, I had to pay $29.98. It was a lot more expensive than what I wanted. And it looks like it's potted into just a plastic pot. And it looks kind of grody inside of there. Ooh, I didn't check for pests or anything like that. So I'm definitely gonna have to eventually repot this. I ordered some nematodes yesterday, so I'm gonna water in nematodes. I'm not gonna repot or do anything with it because I don't wanna stress it out. So the nematodes will take care of the fungus gnats because I'm sure there probably is some larvae, it being a plant from the big box store. And this is from the Leaf Joy collection. So I don't know. I was just really sad that mine went downhill with having thrips and flat mites. So. If I could have a variegated orbifolia, that would be a dream. <laughs> and I did get some more plants. So I got this at Home Depot. And then let me do the couple of plants that I got in Lowe's that you guys probably already saw. Okay, I tried to move in the shade so it wasn't so bright. The next plant I got was this peace lily. I'm not sure what kind it is, but the leaves look like this. It's very pretty. I don't know. I never had a peace lily and I don't like the original peace lilies. I don't know. I just wanted something different and I really wanted the variegated one, but this one spoke to me. I saw it before, but I saw it in a bigger pot and I didn't want to pay that much. So I couldn't pass that up. I just think that is so pretty. So I'm excited to have that one. I don't know if I need like another thirsty plant in my collection, <laughs> but I really liked it. This last little guy is another thirsty one too, but it's one of those zebra plants. Again, I don't know the exact kind of this one. It's the lighter one, but it's so pretty. I like this much better than the other one. And again, and another very cute pot for $12.99. So $13, you get a cute pot and a plant. I thought that was such a good deal. It's so stinking cute. So I walked away with three plants. Of course, of course I did. <laughs> and that was everything that I got. I forgot to get sphagnum moss. I just now realized that was one of the main reasons for going was to get more moss. And I don't know how much I have left. So I'm gonna have to like make another trip back there and get some, but it's okay. Uh, I think I have a little bit left of one bag. It should last for a couple, maybe one or two more extensions of like the small thick clean ones. <laughs> but I'll keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed this shopping video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.